सो हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू सेल टू एम डी एस टेंडल अकेडमी सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर हिद पार्ट सेवन ऑफ नीट एम डी एस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी पेपर डिस्कशन विद इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट एंड एग्जाम बेस्ड इमेजेस सो लेट्स सी दन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ फोर्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मेल कम्स विद पेन इन टूथ द पेन इज स्पॉन्टेनियस एंड अकर्स सिंस लास्ट टू डेज ऑन एग्जामिनेशन लोअर राइट मोलार इज कैरियस एंड सेंसिटिव ऑन परकशन patient complains of severe pain so what it indicates it indicates acute irreversible pulpitis with symptomatic apical periodontitis then remember explain the sequelae of pulpal disorder whenever the pulp is normal and any noxious stimuli is represented to it it convert into reversible pulpitis if it is not treated it is converted into irreversible pulpitis which can progress to chronic hyperplastic pulpitis that is pulp polyp symptomatic irreversible pulpitis asymptomatic irreversible pulpitis and internal resorption remember as friends nowadays the word acute and chronic pulpitis have been obscured instead of that aae has recommended the use of word symptomatic and asymptomatic if all this is not treated the pulp will go under necrosis now if normal pulp has been presented to a stimuli that cause degenerative pulpal changes it will lead to calcific degeneration or calcific metamorphosis then aspirin the serum created in examination a burn urea evolution are part of which investigation so all these three will indicate renal function let's see the importance of this burn creatinine ratio so what is this burn it is a blood urea nitrogen so most often this burn indicates the amount of nitrogen in your blood that comes from the waste product urea so this burn creatinine ratio is very important it is low in case of acute tubular necrosis low protein intake starvation and severe liver disease high in case of pre renal uremia high protein intake and after gi bleeding and we can say raised creatinine aspirin in case of post renal obstruction and pre renal uremia with renal disorder then is from 123 question so when storing blood for blood grouping which anticoagulant will stop glycolysis so citrate is used to stop glycolysis now we should know the precaution required when you are going to store blood and its component a very important question so remember blood is stored between 1 to 6 degree celsius it is never allowed to freeze because of presence of red cells then fresh frozen plasma is stored below minus 18 degree celsius or lower temperature of a refrigerator must be checked twice a day door of freezer must be kept closed if plasma is to be thawed the temperature should never go above 37 degree celsius if frozen plasma is thawed it should be kept at 1 to 6 degree celsius and used within 24 hours then aspirin which is not an essential amino acid so arginine is not an essential amino acid so most often we get confused between this two amino acid histidine and arginine remember they are semi essential amino acid you can remember the simple mnemonics that i love you see very much please try to help arginine so i stand for isoleucine love that's l for leucine one more l for lysine v for valine m for methionine p for phenylalanine t for tryptophan and t for threonine h for histidine and arginine so these are essential and semi essential amino acid list then if you mix dental plaster with boiling water what is going to happen remember as per no reaction will happen now there is a ortho case report a 8 year old child with a family history of class 2 malocclusion reports with a sn is 78 degree and snb 80 degree what will you do what you are going to treat it you will go for protraction mask therapy and which of the following is not a side effect of ac inhibitor remember hypokalemia is not a side effect of ac inhibitor we explain this ac inhibitor in part 2 of the 2020 papers you can click on the i button above and view it now anti androgenic effect is seen to which anti fungal drug remember it is seen with ketoconazole it is an anti fungal drug that blocks the synthesis of steroid including testosterone and cortisol then a 40 year old female present with a tingling sensation of face and development of carpopedal spasms what is the anomaly it is hypocalcemia 
Now, what is the recommended mode of administration of adrenaline in case of anaphylactic shock? It is intramuscular. Remember, aspirant, adrenaline has a physiological benefit in the treatment of anaphylaxis. Why? Because it leads to stimulation of alpha adrenoreceptor, which increases peripheral vascular resistance, thus improving blood pressure and coronary perfusion, reversing peripheral vasodilation and decreasing angioedema. And in case of shock, Initially, you have to give intramuscularly. Then, dobutamine act on which receptor? Remember, dobutamine act on beta 1 receptor. Now, imagine an anesthetic patient develops breathing difficulty on the dental chair. So, what you are going to do? We will give him inhalation agent like salbutamol. Then, while doing amalgam restoration, a dentist placed calcium hydroxide liner followed by zinc phosphate base. Why liner is placed? Because of high acidity of base. Now, if a child is there with a rampant caries and wide spot lesions, so what is the best topical fluoride to be applied? It is APF gel. Then, Brunner's glands are seen in which organ? It is seen in duodenum. Now, optimal interarch distance for implant supported removal processes is 12 to 15 mm. Now, a middle aged diabetic patient is there, develops diplopia and toxis of the left eye. The affected eye is rotated downward and outward, and pupils are responsive to light. So, which nerve is affected here? Here, third cranial nerve is affected. Now, what is the maximum penetration depth of laser in laser welding? It is around 2.5 mm then which antibiotic chelates calcium it is tetracycline that chelates calcium now case report a 36 year old male has a grossly carious molar with a periapical radiolucency when you go for histopathology it reveals presence of numerous blood vessels in a fibrous collagenous matrix with area of focal necrosis and calcification so what is the diagnosis it indicates periapical granuloma so experience that was all for Today in part 7, if anybody are not watched from part 1 to part 6, the link is there in the description box also and you can view by clicking the i button above. If you want the last year papers or revision notes, you can DM me. And from 20th, we are starting the new best. So new students who want to prepare for the next year can request for the demo lecture and you can attain and you can gain the benefits. So, aspirant, please keep on working. Now, very few days are left for examination. So, just one mantra. You have to keep on revising, revising, revising without losing your hope. And any doubt is that you can contact me. Till then, all the best, my dear aspirants. And please keep on studying.